fine so today is the third demo right so we have already discussed we already discussed about devops introduction yeah after that question and answers we discussed yesterday and today's session is cloud computing introduction introduction to cloud computing right so three demos so from monday onwards regular sessions will be happened right so anyone newly joined today anyone newly joined today can you share your whatsapp number and email address in the chat so that will provide you previous recordings so anyone newly joined today can you share your whatsapp number and email address in the chat so that will provide you previous recordings so i already shared my mobile number so you can take down my mobile number my mobile number is yeah, this is my personal number yeah you can take down this yeah anyone join today so you can share your number whatsapp number and email address in the go to meeting chat Yeah, so introduction to cloud computing, right? So today's agenda here is what is cloud computing, benefits of cloud computing, types of cloud computing, types of cloud services, what is cost saving, why the project teams are looking for cloud infrastructure, right? What are the roles and responsibilities of uh, cloud engineer, right? So in cloud, what we will do as a AWS engineer, what we will do? and what are the roles what are the challenges right so what is cost saving we'll see that fine so what is cloud computing anyone having idea what is cloud what is cloud computing anyone having idea So online guys, anyone having idea? What is cloud computing? What is cloud computing? Anyone having idea? What is cloud? What is cloud computing? Yeah, so I collected some definition, I'll show you. So this is the definition which I collected in Google, right? Collected from Google. It is the on-demand availability of computer system, resources, storage, and computing power without direct active management by the user. What does it mean? What does it mean? So let's assume that there is no cloud concept. There is no cloud concept. So all our infrastructure is hosted in our local server room, local data center. Right? So let's assume that. So when we have local server room, local data center, we'll be having full control of them. We can take full control, right? So that was the case few years ago. So in local server room, if you have any local servers, we can take full control whenever you want to start, stop servers, whenever you want to modify the hardware, if you want to upgrade the servers, you can do it anytime, right? So that was the case few years ago. However, with the introduction of cloud, everything has been changed now, right? So currently we are not using physical servers. We are using third party vendor servers like AWS servers, Azure servers, Google Cloud servers, right? Yeah. So whenever we want to use the servers, we can go and create the servers in the cloud platform and we can use them for that uses we have to pay the bills. For example, I'm using one server from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily 9 hours. For that 9 hours only, I have to pay the bills. So for example, I'm using one hour per day. For that one hour only, I have to pay the bills, right? So that is, yeah that is cloud computing servers so cloud servers so cloud vendors providing the resources so as per the requirement we can take the servers from cloud we can use them for that use as we have to pay the bills like gas bills electricity bills right yeah so currently most of the project teams they're trying to use, uh, migrate their applications to cloud platform so because of so here there is a term it is on demand what is on demand anyone On demand is nothing but anyone? 
so on demand is nothing but yeah instantly immediately mm. immediately right so whenever we require any servers or storage or network or any resources we can create within a minute one minute in cloud which is nothing but on demand right so let's try to understand that so on demand and other things okay yeah now see here this is google drive google drive right so where this drive is available where we can see this yeah online uh, and exactly the place for example when we open gmail when we open gmail okay so in the gmail if you go here there is a google drive right yeah so this is a drive some storage space they are providing okay so when we upload any data into google drive when we upload any data into google drive where the files will be saved it is it will be saved in cloud right so the files will be saved in google data center google data center right yeah so back end there will be a server back end there will be a server actually it is not a see here so when we upload any files into google drive the files will be saved in the back end there is a server actually it is not a server it is not a server it is a data center so when we upload any files into google drive the files will be stored in the directly google data center okay now let's try to understand what is data center so data center so data center is what is data center anyone anyone having any collection of servers collection of servers right so we can say simply can say it is a server room server room where we host all the servers right so people will call it as people will call it as hub room or network room right so different names people will call it as hub room or network room so actually it is a server room it is a server room where we host all the servers right so in data center we can see the different different devices like uh, servers storage network and load balancers yeah backup devices right and also routers etc right so all the devices are hosted in so normally every data center will have this uh, devices like servers storage network load balancers backup devices routers switches different devices okay so who will maintain the servers and uh, storage and network respective engineers respective engineers will maintain this resources right yeah so now let's try to understand cloud advantages cloud advantages so before going to uh, discuss about cloud advantages so i just want to show you physical server environment so when we have physical server environment so how the costing will be happen what are the advantages of cloud let's try to understand for example for example so there is a java project there is a java project okay so we can say this is uh, for example this is a startup company startup startup company so we can use here physical servers physical servers we can use here so yeah we have startup company first project here is java project right we are trying to get from the us client java project we are trying to get from the us client okay yeah so this is startup company so normally startup companies when they start if anyone start startup company so they try to get euro project us project right yeah so before getting the real project before getting the real project client ask us to provide some poc so for example every company they try to get some projects from clients before getting the project so client ask you to provide the poc some poc what is poc anyone what is poc anyone 
client ask us to provide one POC, not point of contact. Yeah, it's a proof of concept. Proof of concept. What is proof of concept? Some proof. For example, if you want to buy the laptop or desktop, what we will do? Directly go and buy. No, right? We check the reviews. We check with others, the people who are using, right? So we, can, we check all these things and then we'll go and buy, right? Same way, when they when the client is trying to give any project to the companies, they check some proof. If I give my project, how they develop, how they work on the project, how they develop the applications, how they deploy the applications. They check some proof. That is why. So before getting the real project, we need to prepare one POC, proof of concept. We need to showcase with the client. Okay. Yeah. So this POC client give you 45 days timeline to complete this POC. Okay. So one proof of concept, one sample project we need to prepare and we need to showcase with the client. Right. So every project team following this. Okay. Yeah. This POC timeline is 45 days. So for this POC client asks you to take three development servers. Three QA servers, three production servers. So why we require development of QA production? What, what is the development? What is QA? What is production? So these are the three different uh, setup servers, three different environments. Okay. So because the developers develop the code in development servers, once development is completed, they don't directly deploy onto production. In between, testing should be happened. So QA is quality assurance, quality assurance, testing should be happened, right? Once testing is completed, the code will be deployed onto production servers. Production means live servers, you can access through internet, right? So every project team, they maintain some three or four environments. So development, QA, production. So before that pre-prod also, UAT also, different environments are there. So the code will be tested in the different stages. Okay, yeah, fine. Now, so these are the three different environments. So here, what will happen? First 30 days, first 30 days, developers develop the code in development servers. Once testing is completed, from 31 days to 40 days, testing will be happened. Testers will work on the application this QA servers okay yeah to test the code after that from 41 days to 45 days deployment will be happened so whatever uh, the code developed by developers the code will be deployed onto production servers right so this is the actual process every project team following okay yeah so here so if you want to prepare one POC, if you want to work on this activities, before going to this activities, very first thing, we need to buy one licensing. We need to buy operating system license and application license, right? What is licensing? So for example, in your laptop, in our laptop, we are using Windows, right? So most of the laptops we are using crack version, crack version, right? So in real time projects, we don't use crack versions. We use a licensing version, right? So normally when we want to get any license, software license or operating system license, what is the minimum period would be? Anyone? What is the minimum period? One year, right? So this POS is 45 days, but licensing period is minimum one year. If you want to get 45 days or three months or six months, they don't provide. Okay. So very first thing before buying the servers we need to buy license so this is minimum one year we need to buy right yeah so licensing required for operating systems and also applications so after that we we, we need to recruit one admin so because admins prepare the servers developers will not have any knowledge to configure the servers we require one admin to configure this servers so we required ac so without ac servers will work 
normally in data centers, when we enter into data centers, so minus degrees temperature will be there in data center. Okay. So because without AC servers will not work. Laptops, desktops, it will work. Servers, servers will have high computing power. That is why. So AC is mandatory. Central AC or normal AC, right? So without AC servers will not work, right? Yeah, AC required here and also network required, server room required, right? And also server room security required. So all these things required, right? So if you want to configure physical servers, I'm talking about physical servers, right? Yeah. So once we set up all these things, once we configure all these things, okay, if the project is, if the POS is success, we'll get the real project from type. If this POS is success, we'll get the real project. If the POS is not approved by a client, what will happen? We don't get any real project. So if the client is rejected, this POC, this is not good. I don't want to give any project. So if client is rejected, we don't get any real project, right? Yeah, so this is a physical environment setup. Okay, so here what will happen? For example, if you want to buy, if you want to set up servers, first we need to place the order with vendor, right? So for example, here, these are the servers, right? Nine servers are there. So when you want to configure servers, first we need to place the order with vendor. So Dell vendor, HP vendor. They deliver the servers within one week or 10 days. Once delivered the servers, we need to move to data center. We need to configure. We need to install operating system, applications, and all. Finally, we can move into development, QA production. Right? Then developer will start the development. That is the actual process in physical environment. So here, if the project is, if the POS is rejected by a client, this is waste of money, right? Because this is startup company, the company is a MNC company or big company. We can move the servers to other project, but there is no other project. This is the first project, startup company, right? Yeah. Now, so now what we will do? Let's try to understand cloud advantages. Same requirement by using cloud servers. How can we configure servers? We'll try to understand. Same requirement by using cloud servers. How can we set up? What are the what is the difference here? What are the advantages? Let's try to understand. Yeah, same Java project. This is startup. Startup company. Yeah, so here we can take cloud servers. We can take cloud servers. So online guys, everyone following, right? Yeah. Java project startup company cloud servers. Okay. So here same POC. Same POC. Right? So it's a proof of concept. of concept so 45 days timeline same okay so here in cloud what we will what we will do so in physical environment in physical servers so whenever we want to start project we need to buy all the servers at a time right but whereas cloud we don't require all the servers at a time because cloud servers are on demand servers what is on demand whenever we need any servers we can create within a minute, instantly, immediately, right? Yeah. So first, what we will do, we can create three servers for development for first 30 days. First 30 days, we can create three servers. Right? So once the development is completed, we can create three more servers. No need to create at a time all the servers, right? So once development is completed, we can create three more servers for QA. From 31 days to 30 days. Once testing is completed, we can create three more servers. 
for a production right so we need to yeah we no need to create all the servers at a time here 41 days to 45 days right yeah so these are cloud servers are on demand servers scalable servers whenever we require servers we can create within a minute right so when we create a when we use cloud servers here licensing part will be taken care by cloud vendor only aws will take care licensing no need to buy licensing aws will take care here no licensing no license required okay so here no admin required no admin required but who will prepare the servers as a devops engineer we can create servers within a minute it's very easier very simple in cloud platform creating servers are very simple okay yeah so no central ac or ac not required no ac no ac required okay because ac will be maintained by cloud vendor in their data center we don't require any data center right yeah so next one network network not required here so because vendor will maintain right yeah so after that uh, server room no server room will maintain right yeah so next one is uh, security also they will maintain everything will be maintained by data center people no server room security because uh, aws will maintain all these things okay yeah so this is also pvc right if the pvc is success if the cloud server pvc is success it is fine if the pvc is not uh, success means not uh, approved by client what will happen this is also waste of money right so this is also waste of money but here what will happen here what will happen so if the this cloud server setup pvc is not approved by client for example here what will happen 100 dollars will be wasted for example i am saying 100 dollars will be wasted but physical environment physical servers environment 500 dollars will be wasted because physical servers are costing is very higher right so cloud servers costing is less right so physical environments yeah earlier we used to use in our project also six years back seven years back uh, we, we used to use physical environment only right so currently most of the project teams they're migrating to cloud servers so because of cloud servers are on demand servers less costing here time will be saved so on demand means quickly right immediately so costing also less time will be saved cost will be saved that is why so every project in they are looking for cloud infrastructure cloud servers so these are the cloud advantages so that is why whoever starting startup companies they are directly moving to cloud they are not using physical servers they are not buying physical servers because so aws is taking care of all the licenses admin cost ac network server room everything right so as a customer we can directly go to aws console we can create the servers and we can use them for that uses we have to pay the bills for example earlier uh, six years back five years back in villages normally villages in cities also people when they have any function marriage function birthday function what they used to do they used to they used to bring all the vegetables provisions everything they used to uh, place one they used to uh, give to the cook right they used to prepare the food so currently what we are doing we are using catering right everywhere immediately so we just give the order exactly as per the time frame they bring the food they supply the food for that we can pay the bills right so same way this cloud environment cloud servers so these are the on-demand servers whenever we required we can create within a minute right but physical environments that takes some time so we need to buy the servers from vendors like Dell vendor, HP vendor, we need to move to data center, we need to insert into racks, we need to connect power network, we need to install operating system, 
applications, patches, everything. Finally, we can move to production or development, or, right? So that takes more time, more costing. So currently, most of the positives, they are migrating their applications to cloud because of the cost saving, time saving. Got it right, everyone? Understanding, right? Someone asking only theory part. If I show you practical, can you understand? So right away, if I show you practicals, you will not understand, right? Slowly, slowly we'll move, right? So three demos, theoretical demos. Theoretical we need to understand. So practical will practical sessions will be started very soon. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Now let us move back to slides here. See here. Whenever we upload any data into Google Cloud, Google da, da, yeah. Google Drive, so that files will be moved to Google Data Center. The file will be stored in the Google Data Center, right? Yeah. So cloud computing at a glance, five essential characteristics, three service models, four deployment models, right? So what is essential characteristics? What is uh, service models, deployment models? Let's try to understand, okay? See here. So we have five essential characteristics. First one is on demand. What is on demand? instantly immediately so whenever we want to create any servers or stories or network in aws we can create within a minute which is nothing but on demand right so next one is a broad network access what is this so whatever resources we are using in cloud whatever servers we are using in cloud we can access them from anywhere we can access the servers from anywhere like from your home from your office even from your mobile also you can access with proper authentication, which is nothing but a broad network access. Okay. Next one is the resource pulling. Currently, whatever resources we are using in cloud, those we can pull it up and we can reuse a number of times. We can reuse a number of times the servers, storage, network, right? So next one is the rapid elasticity. What is this? For example, I'm working on database server. So database server is giving some performance issue. So without downtime, what is downtime anyone? Downtime, what is downtime? Without, I'll explain that. Without downtime, we can increase the RAM. We can increase the CPU. We can increase the processing. So rapid elasticity means while working on any server, if the server is getting more hits, more burden, right? So getting performance issue on the fly, Without any downtime, we can increase the RAM, CPU, order. Downtime means maintenance time, shutdown time, restart time. Okay. So, for example, you are working on your laptop. We are working on our laptop, right? For example. So, laptop is getting some slowness issue. Slowness issue. Can we add the RAM immediately? Can we increase the RAM immediately? Can we increase the processor immediately? No. So, we need to stop this. We need to shut down the laptop we need to open the cabinet we need to insert one ram module that will take some time but cloud servers cloud resources so without any downtime on the fly we can increase the resources which is nothing but rapid elasticity okay so next one is measured service what is measured service so whatever servers we are using whatever services we are using those are measured yeah for example I'm using one server from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. For that nine hours only, I have to pay the bills. Okay. For example, I'm using one uh, database server, daily four hours. Okay. For that four hours only, I have to pay the bills, which is nothing but measured service. So whatever services we are using in cloud, those are measured. Clear, right? Everyone. Any questions in this slide, anyone? All in guys. Any questions in this slide? On demand, broad network access, resource pooling, rapid elasticity, and measured service. Any questions here, anyone? Clear, right, everyone? Yeah. So, next one. Resource pooling, right? Yeah. So, currently, for example, we are using one server, right? So, in the server, there is a storage. So, the server, yeah. 
developers are working on the server the project is completed project is completed okay so currently we are talking about resource pooling so one project is completed so once the project is completed the project team asks us to terminate the server so normally in real time projects as a cloud engineer as a devops engineer what we will do as per the project team requirement we need to create the servers we need to hand over to project team so normally service now jira bms remedy ticketing systems are there so for example one project team required one server there is a ticket they give the requirement so we required uh, one server with uh, uh, linux operating system and uh, 8 gb ram and uh, two processors 100 gb storage like that as per their requirement we need to create the servers in aws so we can hand over to project team once we hand over to project team they start the development once the development is completed again they ask us to terminate the server terminate means delete why they ask us to terminate the server because project completed still if they hold the server charges will be applied to reduce the costing they ask us to they ask us to terminate the server so by the time we have to terminate the server but we need to protect our storage that storage whatever storage is available in the server because project data is available in the storage that storage we can reuse whenever the project is required which is nothing but resource pooling so the storage we need to protect somewhere so whenever the project team required we can reuse the we can attach that storage to other server and we can reuse got it right everyone so which is nothing but resource pooling we can pull it up and we can reuse a number of times clear right yeah so broad network access is nothing but we can access from anywhere the resources like from your home from your office from your mobile also we can access with the proper authentication only okay yeah. next one let's move to next slide here so we have three service models here three service models ias pas sas infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service what is this so first one infrastructure as a service what is this so as a devops engineer what we will do we create a server on top of that we install kubernetes right we create a server on top of that we install jenkins right we create infrastructure on top of that we can create the tools which is nothing but infrastructure as a service second one is platform as a service so this is a, once we log into aws the platform already available like for example kubernetes so kubernetes is uh, already available in aws for example if you go to aws if you check here eks so this is aws platform so here i have one server see here so while working on aws i'll show you all these uh, tabs and all see here this is docker server this is a jenkins server i created one server on top of that i install the jenkins docker right so which is nothing but ias infrastructure as a service so i required kubernetes for example so kubernetes if i search here eks here elastic kubernetes service it's already available in aws so jenkins is not available jenkins is not available that is why i created server i installed jenkins on the server but kubernetes is already available which is a pass platform as a service kubernetes is already available which is a platform as a service okay next one software as a service what is this this is mainly for reusability we can reuse a number of times like google drive one drive amazon shopping site these are all comes under saas software as a service clear right everyone ias ps sas so this will be covered while working on tools don't worry okay next one is uh, deployment models we have four deployment models are available so private cloud hybrid cloud community cloud 
and public cloud so what is private cloud right so private cloud is nothing but on premises cloud our local server room cloud for example vmware citrix hypervisor that is private cloud our own cloud our local server room right so next one is the public cloud what is public cloud aws cloud azure cloud google cloud these are all public clouds right yeah so next one is important hybrid cloud what is hybrid cloud what is hybrid currently people are uh, working as a hybrid model people are going to office two days office three days work from home which is nothing but hybrid model right so hybrid is nothing but so hybrid cloud is nothing but it's a combination of private and public servers private and public cloud it's a combination of private and public cloud so most of the uh, banking domains insurance domains insurance companies banking banking uh, applications they are using hybrid cloud so because uh, for example bank databases they are using in private servers their private cloud so net banking websites credit card websites they are hosting on public cloud so still banking uh, bank people bank uh, domains they are not believing public cloud so public cloud is very secure 100% secure since 2012 i am working on cloud platform so so far i haven't seen any single security concern cloud is very secure right yeah so here private cloud means local server local server room public cloud means aws cloud so hybrid means combination of both so banking domain insurance domains they are using hybrid model okay yeah so next one is community cloud which is a government cloud defense cloud clear right so these are the four deployment models private cloud hybrid cloud community cloud public cloud any questions here up to here any questions anyone Yeah, is Mr. Jeff Bezos who invented AWS platform? Is the founder of AWS, Jeff Bezos. Okay. So in 2002, Amazon Web Services was born. So it was born in 2002, right? So starting initially, they started selling books. Slowly, slowly, uh, they they started selling books and uh, they prepared cloud for their their projects initially. They prepared cloud environment for their project. Slowly, slowly, what they what they did, so they started giving services to other companies also. So currently, is the leader in the market. So world richest man, if you search in Google, is in second place. Jeff Bezos is in second place. So who invented? Who? Um, yeah, started this AWS platform. Right in 2002, it was born. Fine. Yeah, these are the topmost clouds, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and the Google Cloud Platform. These are the three popular cloud platforms. AWS is in first place, Azure is in second place, Google Cloud is in third place. So these are the quadrants. Every quadrant, some reviews will be happened. So AWS is in first place in last quadrant. Microsoft Azure is in second place, Google is in third place. So we have 26 more clouds are available in the market. Right. These are the Alibaba Cloud, Oracle Cloud, IBM Cloud. So many clouds are there. Okay. So AWS is in first place. So every company, most of the companies, they are using AWS. AWS jobs also. Yeah, plenty of openings are there on AWS. So Microsoft is having also, Microsoft also having jobs, but compared with Microsoft Azure, AWS is the leader. So AWS is having very good scope going forward also. Right. So these are the cloud providers, cloud computing providers. These are the different the providers available in the market. So yeah, so cloud market share. So these are the three topmost clouds. Okay. See here. So Amazon Web Services occupied 33% of the market share. 33% occupied AWS. 
Azure 18 percent. So Google Cloud 9 percent, Alibaba Cloud 6 percent, IBM Cloud 5 percent, Salesforce 3 percent, TechNet 2 percent, Cloud uh, Oracle Cloud 2 percent like this. So we have 25 more clouds are there. Okay, yeah. So AWS is the leader. So because it's yeah, AWS is occupied 33 percent of the market share. So most of the company, every company, you can see AWS will be there. Okay. So currently they are using multi-cloud also. AWS Azure, AWS Google Cloud, Azure Google, Google Cloud like that. So why they are using two clouds or three clouds in the projects? Anyone having an idea? So it is this is a Q2 2020, same 2023 also, same ratings are there. Same ratings are there. So why the project teams are using why the project teams are using multi-cloud? Yeah, for example. Yeah, so here we have AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. So one company they are using all three platforms, for example. One company they are using all three platforms. Why they are using all three platforms? Because different costing, different quality. So for example, in Hyderabad, we have so many supermarkets are there, right? Why they are using, why they have so many supermarkets? Why they are uh, launching like that? So we have Ratnadeep is there, Demart is there, Vijata is there, More is there, right? So because different quality, different costing. So different brands are, different brands are there, mobiles, laptops, different brands are there, right? Quality, costing. Same way, AWS is a bit costlier, very good quality. AWS is costlier, quality. Azure is less costing, less quality. Google Cloud, very less quality less costing so that is why so as per the customer requirement companies are using at least two cloud platforms so if you are good in aws you can handle any cloud platform so if you are good in aws so all the platforms are same but functional device same terminology would be little different functional device all the platforms are same terminology would be little different for example if you are good in driving you can drive any car right so some features will be different features. Same way, if you are good in AWS, you can handle Azure. You can handle Google Cloud. Any cloud you can handle. Okay. Yeah. Next one. See here. So cloud market growth. See here. Since long I'm seeing cloud platform. This is growing like this one. Okay. So coming 15 to 20 years, market would be like this one. Coming 15 to 20 years. The market would be like this one so year on year it is growing like this okay so this is the right time to grab this is the right time okay so people are learning and uh, they're cracking interviews right so maybe going forward the competition will be high right this is the right time to grab clear right everyone any questions up to here anyone so this is third demo right so three demos completed Monday onwards, regular sessions will be started. Okay. So Monday meeting link will be changed. So online guys, so if you are interested, you can register today or tomorrow. Okay. So Monday meeting link will be changed. So Monday, uh, yeah, we'll provide you new meeting link. Okay. So in the group, WhatsApp group created it already. Whoever people, whoever uh, already registered, they get the new link. So once you make the fee, you can share the screenshot to me so that uh, we'll provide you new meeting link. So you can join the new meeting link from Monday. So three demos allowed, right? Yeah. So timing, same timings, same timings Monday. Uh, yeah, our batch is already started. So timings will not be changed 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. IST. 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. IST. So yeah, Monday onwards, regular sessions will be started yeah so first basics server basics network basics okay so after that uh, slowly slowly we'll enter into cloud platform okay yeah so any questions up to here anyone anyone having any questions online guys so our sessions more in 
more into practical sessions only. Practically, we'll see all the services, right? Not theoretical part. So demos, three demos, theoretically. Yeah, so three demos, theoretically, you can understand. But once we start the regular sessions, so we see all the practical sessions only, practical activities, more into practical, okay? So not theory part. Every service, every activity we do, we see practically. We create the resources, we work on the resources, right? Yeah. So our class frequency Monday to Friday. So weekly Fridays, sometimes Saturdays also. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So we can wind up here. I share with you course content. So if anyone require course content, you can reach out to institute number so that our people will share the course content. Already shared my number and institute number, right? So if you, yeah, so if you want to get, if you require any course content, you can. Just a minute. So these are the numbers you can take down. So this is institute number. This is my personal number. You can take down. So if you have any queries, if you want to talk to me, so just you can reach out to this number in WhatsApp or you can call me. So if you need any more information, you can call institute number also, right? Or people will help you to clear your questions and they provide you required information. Okay. Fine. Yeah, we can wind up here. Our next session would be on Monday. Okay. Yeah, so Monday, same time, same time, IST.